This is the Reflection of Perfection, the number one selection, TRP. Damn it. Tonight in Fight Night is going to be another major letdown. As I mentioned in the previous video, most of Primo Carrera's title defense against Paulino Oscudin has been lost to time. And if you don't know who that is, that's the current heavyweight champion of the world as of 1933. Carnera's next title fight would be in the United States against the Phantom of Philly, Tommy Lauren. Tommy was a tough SOB with over 120 career fights, and he made his pro debut in 1919. A month before Canera took on Paulino, on September 27, 1933, there was kind of a pseudo number one contender fight between Tommy and the former champion, Jack Sharkey. Lauren won that decision and then won another fight two months later to earn the title fight with Carnero. Again, he didn't really beat that many top ten contenders, so again, it looked kind of fishy. But on March 4th, 1934, Lauren met Carnero in Madison Square Garden in Miami, Florida. Yes, you heard me right. Can the tough bastard from Philly dethrone the mob back giant, or will Tommy Lauren be the next victim? Unfortunately, only three minutes of the fight still exists, so not much we can do here. So, without further ado, let's get to Tommy Lauren against Primo Canera. If this thing ever loads. If this thing ever loads. Loud. One thing I forgot to mention <laughs> is that Tommy Lauren was the former light heavyweight champion. And in 1929, he beat future heavyweight champion Jimmy Braddock. And he also, along the way, beat Max Bear as well. So here we go, here we go. <clears throat> so Lauren is definitely quicker than Paulino, but he's de he doesn't have enough muscle mass. Canaris is tower uh, towering over him. Not only that, he's like... Now, Tommy was kind of a light heavyweight. He must have been like about 180 pounds. And there is like... 250, 260, or at least looks like it. It's like Rey Mysterio going up against Batista. Like Tommy's getting, yeah, but see, Tommy's dancing around trying to get, you know, trying to get Canera to come to him and trying to get inside. He's moving a lot quicker. I mean, again, that could be the, just the newsreel footage. But Tommy's looking much quicker than Paulino was. The problem is he doesn't... Round 12. All right, we're jumping ahead to round 12. Oh, he backhanded him. <laughs> Listen to this. He said, Tommy is 31, which is old for a heavyweight challenger. <laughs> Maya, times have changed. <laughs> You have 40, 50 year olds on now. What, remember Evander Holyfield fighting today? Oh, Jesus. Now, the answer does give a heads up. Canera usually scores only when the opponent is stationary. So you need someone that has enough size to hurt him, but enough speed to be able to get around Canera's punches. Lauren's got the speed, but he doesn't have the power here. Again, Canera just had brute strength. Someone who was a little bit more technically defined would be able to beat him. But again, he was also mob-backed all those years. Here we go, round 15. And there's little doubt to the outcome. Like, this is the only footage that exists, so I'm not going to complain too much. Yeah, so Tommy Lauren as it was a tough light heavyweight, light heavyweight champ, defeated Jimmy Braddock, defeated Max Bear, and that's the end of the fight. <laughs> oh, Jesus Christ, that was abrupt. But yeah, so I'm, not much you can go on there, but basically from that little three-minute clip, you can see that Lauren just didn't have the, the, the power to match with Canera. So Canera took the decision. So there was plain to see you needed someone that had size and speed in order to beat Canera, but there was one guy who wanted the fight more than anyone to get in the ring against Canera. The problem is, like I said, Primo Primo was backed by the Capo regimes, was trying to duck 
the top fighters of the world because they knew he was a fraud. Well, that guy was coming up next. But until then, this was Tommy Lauren against Primo Canera. Lauren was a tough bastard. You know, he he was Philly's, you know, one of Philly's best fighters long before Joe Frazier got in the ring. So he definitely deserved to be there. It's just he couldn't really do much against Canera. So that ends another episode of Fight Night. See you all next time. <clears throat>